Hello friends and welcome back to another video. In today's video I am going to be painting this sunflower inspired mandala diary. It's a size A6 diary and I'm using just three colours and one rhinestone in this piece. So I want to be completely open and honest with you guys. My brand Beyond Henna is all about becoming the change that we wish to see in the world. It's all about using our gifts and our talents for the betterment of humanity and it's all about the healing of humanity. And please excuse me if I do get a little bit emotional today. I am feeling very heavy with everything that's happening in the world currently and in today's video I won't be talking you through what I'm doing. You can see that on the screen but I would really like to speak to you or just share some thoughts on how I'm feeling what's happening in the world and what we can do to help ourselves, to help each other and also to help all those souls that are suffering in another part of the world. If you want to mute this video, I absolutely respect that. You don't have to sit there and listen to me talk. Um, not everybody does and I completely respect that. So feel free to do that. Otherwise, just join me, join me. Let's talk, share. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments as well. I don't know what time in history, what point in history you are watching this video. It might even be long after I'm gone, <laughs> um, sometime way in the future, or it might actually be right now in 2023, October 2023, where we are witnessing a literal genocide taking place before our very eyes. The work I do, not only here with this brand Beyond Henna and this channel, but in other areas of my life as a writer, as a healing coach, everything that I do is all about elevating consciousness, awakening consciousness. It's about spiritual growth, it's about self-development, personal growth, and I don't usually talk about politics and that kind of stuff. I tend to stay away, away from it completely. However, I don't think what is happening right now and that has been happening for over 75 years is politics at all. I think it's a question of humanity and when you are on a path of spiritual growth you can be all about peace and love but you can also desire, strive and pray for the freedom of Palestine and its innocent civilians. And me saying this is not me hating Jewish people. I have love for everybody. I have love for the whole of humanity. And I think that's why this is so particularly heartbreaking. Me sharing these words is not me being anti-Semitic. It's not me turning my back on my Jewish brothers and sisters. This is a question of humanity. It's easy to turn a blind eye to the suffering of others especially when you are on a path of your own self-development and spiritual growth. You're told that what you focus on grows. You're told to protect your energy and not allow yourself to be sucked into the negativity of this world. And I, on my own spiritual path, have done that. I've, I've turned away. I've not allowed myself to be consumed by the negative media coverage of certain events. I don't even watch the news. But I feel like there comes a point when you can no longer turn the other way or bury your head in the sand or drown it all out with the voices in your own head that tell you not to look that way. You have to see the suffering. You have to open your eyes and your heart to the reality of this world. You have to understand your privilege and know that you have fellow brothers and sisters in humanity that are experiencing a living hell on earth. And of course I am referring to our Palestinian brothers and sisters who have been living under occupation in their own homeland for the last 75 years plus. And through saying that, I am not taking away from any of the atrocities or the pain that our Jewish brothers and sisters are experiencing all around the world as well. In no way am I doing that, but it's so important to understand the plight of the Palestinians. If you are all about peace and love and on a path of spiritual growth, 
then please know that without the freedom of the Palestinians and the awareness of their plight from all who are not Palestinian by name, that we are not free. We can never be truly free if we are not willing to allow ourselves to see and accept the entirety of this human experience, including the pain, destruction and sheer evil that exists among us. As Israel continues with its ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestine with what I have to say is an absolutely fantastic propaganda regime that is really, really working. <sighs> it's leaving so many of us feeling so helpless and in sheer desperation of knowing what we can actually do to help. And I'm going to say it, the heartbreaking reality is that we really can't do much outside of us, unfortunately. But what we can do is bear witness to all that is unfolding. We can open our eyes and finally see, truly see the power and darkness of the social order. We can awaken to how it makes us less and less human in every facet of our lives. We can allow ourselves to see the bias, the hypocrisy, the corruption that exists all around us and how we are conditioned to believe that all that we experience in the social order from the moment that we are born is how we're supposed to live. But the thing is, we were never meant to be machines. We were never meant to be ego-driven. We were never meant to live life disconnected from ourselves and our pure, infinite essence. We were never meant to live a life of separation disconnection and judgment of our fellow human brothers and sisters. We were never meant to see anyone else as less human <laughs> than ourselves. If this time in history is doing anything, it is finally waking more and more people up to this truth. So today, I urge you to stand for humanity. Please continue to see. Please continue to bear witness. Please continue to share. Use your voice, your platform, your talents and your gifts to speak out in the hope that those who are still blind can begin to see too. Because we're literally witnessing a whole population of people being wiped out before our eyes and some of us are refusing to see that and please my beautiful brothers and sisters and anybody that is watching this video please continue to pray and I don't care what the entity that you pray to I don't care what the entity is called you could call it God Allah the universe Elohim whatever you call it just please continue to pray. We may not feel like we have much power, but we can call upon the one who has all the power. In his name we pray for truth to prevail. We pray for the awakening of hearts and global consciousness. We pray for light to always overcome darkness. And we pray for a world in which Palestine will be free. We pray for a world in which humanity is truly free. And I just want you to know that if you're feeling sad and down and heartbroken, if you've lost somebody in all the atrocities that have been committed over the last few days, just know that I am with you, whoever you are, wherever you are, that I love you, I am with you, and if we unite as one, we can overcome the darkness. And I know this video is much different to my other videos. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening. I hope you are able to take something from this. And we'll get back to regular content soon. But I just felt really called to share this today. 
sending you lots of light, love and peace. <laughs>